Hello YouTubers, um, this is actually my first video of my wind turbine that I have built to, from a treadmill motor. So I just want to go through with all the components or the parts I used. Um, this is actually a nice heavy piece of metal for extending the wings and you can actually get it in a hardware shop and you can actually make drill the holes um, yourself and uh, they are actually heavy and uh, they're nice and handy when it comes to extend the length of your wings because I want the wings to to catch the wind capture the wind as much as they can and uh, they are actually heavy pretty heavy so it, they actually help they are helping to move the turbine more nicely look at this because they are heavy I think as a counterweight it works so you know it's keep moving so this is my probably my theory that it will help me to actually spin this motor in even um, very low winds and the good thing the beauty about the treadmill motors are is they actually spin very nice and smoothly there is no cogging in wind um, in treadmill motors and you can see the thickness of the the magnet in there how thick it is that and the router you can see is still in pretty good condition so I took it out the motor from a Nordic treadmill motor and uh, this is what it say 130 volt DC direct current that's the watts I presume I divide this by this I'll get the amperage hour probably 10 or something because I tried to spin before putting all this I spin with my drill uh, so with my voltmeter down there, I actually got uh, 188 volts from that, from this treadmill motor. It's a permanent magnet motor. Now this part as a tail boom, you can see I took it out from the treadmill as well. It's nice painted already. So I have to use a DIY part. So I use that and you can see that I clipped it. This is a galvanized tin I found. So I cut it myself and make a kind of a tail fin and I hooked this up um, with these brackets which were in my dish now what I did is I'll show you now this is a fan I presume I never took it out uh, I never took it out and uh, I presume this fan will keep the the motor nice and cold and cool and uh, she is really spinning hard and to make uh, I I learned that the, the furling in the turbine is very handy to keep them out of a uh, very high winds to save your motor so it won't overheat and that's what I got that uh, um, I made a nice cut over here from the same it was like this so I made a cut so it this pipe actually go all the way this way and not more than that and then I put some rubber pieces there so it actually it stay there so it actually um, basically I put this here it won't go too far from this side but it will go over there but not onto the, my wings so I had to put something to stop it is going down more further now this is all totally a DOI project, so I just want to see if this will work out. Now this is your, I guess, negative, and this is your positive here. The blue wire in treadmills are for overheating temperature sensors, so I just wrap it. I don't need it. Uh, I'm I'm sure this fan will look after it. Now, um, I'll. This is the piece, this bungee strap doing actually nothing, just holding this. Uh, it's literally just holding this pipe there so it won't go down. Now these are the bearings that I got. Um, it's really a couple of bearings, I put it together and just uh, right at size, same size of diameter of this pipe. And I put it together and it spins nicely, it's waterproof grease up there. Of course you have to put the grease on because it's not sealed bearing and then there is a rubber cup up there just for water not to go on to these bearings. Now this is a slip ring which is going all the way inside you can see. So with the slip ring the handy thing is 
your 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 basically wires won't won't twist. Your what your wires won't twist. Now I can show you an example of this, which is here. This is the slip ring that I got, and uh, I'm trying to zoom it. See if somebody else want to buy it. Well, this. There are plenty of uh, slip rings out there. There you go. There's plenty of slip rings out there that people can buy. Even better quality ones. It's good enough for me. It was cheap enough and good enough. So basically slip ring is what it does. Is uh, it helps not to twist your wires in, in the wind. Basically I'll show you now this top part will the, the top part will move but the bottom part you can see is I'm holding it tight it won't move so imagine this is your turbine is moving 360 degrees not twisting your wires smooth work so you can get them on the eBay it was cheap enough for me to order anyway now I'll just show you quickly the 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 walls that I just from the spinning from the hand what walls I get um this is only spinning with the hand um, this is only spinning with the hand you will see and these metal bars as i said are really helping to spin this motor more smoothly. They are heavy duty motors now. I, I presume nothing is actually going to happen to these motors. Uh, I'm just sorry, I'm just, this screw, I put it there just to keep it, keep it balanced because it's kind of going the other side. Now I'll show you again. So it, it touched uh, 13. I'll show you again. So, sorry, I have to stop it because, as I said, because it's it's basically it's it's round from here. There's not solid base there at the moment. I'm just really putting up there, so it's kind of a slipping down. So, just give me a moment, please. And I will. It's pretty heavy. It's really, really heavy motor, and. Uh, really heavy motor and when you add more parts in there it just get heavy and heavy so it will be a tough job for me to put it up there very sorry about this Still not very stable but uh, just want to show you what I can actually achieve just spinning by hand The previous video I actually made, I got about 13, 14, but unfortunately I stopped that video and uh, all my video was gone. Now I'm still having some issues here making this video. Of course, being on your own does give you a bit of trouble. Sometimes you need some hand. Oh God, let's just keep slipping the other side. Sorry folks, just give me a minute and I'll try to set this up. Because I, I really want to see you, the voltage I get just from moving it by hand. 
Now, of course, I followed a lot of videos and I'm still following a lot of videos of other other YouTubers uh, out there and uh, helping me a lot with the knowledge. What should I do? What should I not do? Now, as I said, um, by making these videos, we mean you're helping each other and, uh, you know, you get ideas, good ideas. Now, I got this idea making this um, base from an office chair. Uh, it's really solid. It's I've seen people making with a piece of wood, basically, the turbine is sitting up there and, you know, but over time, this is going to go, you know. It's gonna soak. As I said, I live in Ireland, so it rains a lot, to be very honest. Now, I'll try to spin this. Now, hopefully, this thing will stay there, and I'll show you what the uh, volts I will get. At one stage I did got about 14 and I would love to show you that again Bear with me, please. The light is right on top. As I said, these bars are really helping to spin this motor very nicely. And uh, it's actually doing the job. I'm trying to build a 48 volt system um, as I said a while ago when I was um, doing the when I was uh, a while ago I was uh, I tried with my drill machine and it produced me 188 volt So it's pretty good walls now. It's just spinning by hand, giving me about eight, nine, twelve volt. So yeah, it's actually uh, doing a good job, and I'll stay in touch with the updates. And when I'll put it up tomorrow, I'll get a PVC pipe and put that in and uh, sorry galvanized pipe and the pvc wings that i will make it and i'll go give you more update onto it please stay in touch and uh, please share and like the video if you think you gain something out of it which is probably not new for you guys but uh, i will appreciate it if you like it and share it so it will actually just motivate me to make more projects and do more videos on my projects now this um, I have actually valence batteries there uh, this is another um, you can say I'm looking for help someone if there is they have valence batteries um, this is the XP series I'll show you 
if anyone have the BMS for these batteries, they are lithium iron batteries. There are 24 of them, capacity of 40 kilowatts. And if anyone has a BMS for them, I will really appreciate if someone is out there to sell me that BMS if they are not using it. Um, my final project is a three kilowatt turbine and 28 panels of solar panels, which is six kilowatt and fill up the juice in these 40 kilowatt battery storage that's another project i will come back to it but this is my diy project that i want to really really see how nice it can go thank you everyone for watching it peace and god bless you